All right, well, like I said, you've toured with almost every South African musician. You've been a professional performer since you were 14 years old. How are you making that transition from doing backing vocals to actually being on the stage solo? It's all you. Okay, so it was the initial idea was to be a solo artist, obviously. But when you get offered amazing gigs like backing all those awesome artists that you just mentioned, you're not going to say no. So I studied at UCT and I was doing my jazz degree and all these opportunities came along, but I always knew in the long run, no matter who I'm working with, at the end of the day, the end game is for me to be the solo person in the front center singing yeah. my songs. That's the dream. So that's like what I've been working towards slowly and surely. And then like four or five years ago, I started performing my own stuff. Mm -hmm. And people started like reacting to it amazingly. I've, and over time, I've grown a little bit of an audience and a following. Um, so now it's just a matter of like reaching a wider audience and hoping that grows. So yeah, the transition has been interesting, but I've enjoyed every minute of it actually. Yeah. yeah. Now tell me about studying jazz. How did you get into jazz? It's not something you know your typical student decides to study. Yeah. Well, I always knew I was going to sing. Yeah. And um, jazz is the most um, contemporary form of music that you can study and get a degree in and a degree, and a degree that's recognized internationally. Mm -hmm. So I want to do, basically the people that I grew up listening to were like Erika Badu, you know, Love Shaka her. Khan, those yeah. kinds of people. And when I started doing research on those artists, all of them love jazz and all of them studied jazz. So I was like, okay, cool. To know where you're going, you've got to know where you come from. Yeah. You know, I love listening to Jill Scott, love singing along, but her roots are in jazz. So I've got to study jazz. And because I knew I was going to be a soul artist, um, it was very important for me to have a firm understanding and a firm grasp of the jazz genre. And it's, it was four years, four years of undergrad, two years of postgrad, and I enjoyed every minute of it. I've got such an appreciation for jazz, which a lot of young people don't have, but I'm I'm really happy that I made that decision to study jazz because it gave me technique and foundation for everything else and all the <laughs> that I get to Which do for myself. Which you're very good at. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me about Seasons. What can we expect from it? Is it a jazz album? No, Seasons is pretty much a, free, a reflection of who I am mm -hmm. and what I've listened to over the years. So it's jazz, it's hip hop, it's funk, it's R&B, it's soul. Everything that I've listened to is in there. It's a little bit of pop as well. So it's very much for people who have an open mind when it comes to music, um, but it's also very listener friendly and it's awesome to groove to, even if I say so myself. Do you groove to it yourself sometimes? You can no, be I don't oh, actually. Really? <laughs> I don't. When I when I watch videos of my live performances, then I'll catch myself doing a little bit of this and I'm like, no, stop, pause, don't do, that. Don't don't do, do that. it. But um, it's I. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite song on the album? Wow, favorite song I'd have to say it's probably Out of My System. Mm -hmm. um, it's a song I wrote about you know first love and not yeah. being able to get over it and then you know just not being able to get it out of your system. <laughs> We all have that experience. It's Don't true. judge me. We do all have that experience. <laughs> so I'm sure everyone will be able to relate. Now, every album takes us on a journey. What journey is Seasons taking us on? It's more just like a little bit of an introduction to who I am as an mm -hmm. artist and as a solo artist. You get a little bit of everything and also all the songs were written by myself. So it's all true stories. It's all things that have happened. I wrote a song called Highway about a friend of mine who passed away a couple of years back. And um, there's a lot of, you know, there's a song called Two about being in love with two people at the same time. Don't judge me once again. <laughs> it happens. Um, you know, so it's, yeah. it's, there's, it's a lot of storytelling, but it's also, I, I feel I'm proud of it because it really gives you a sense of who I am, mm -hmm. apart from all the backing vocals and supporting people, whatever. You'll get a true sense of who I am and the direction that I'm going to be going into for as long as I'll be doing this.